Good morning. Good good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that you're all doing well this morning. It is about 43 degrees here with about 15 mile an hour winds. And uh, yeah, that's cold. For here anyway. <laughs> all right. Well, this morning we're going to start off once again in Isaiah 12. And then another passage in Isaiah, and then we're going to the Gospel of Luke. So let's get started. Isaiah 12, and as always, may God bless the reading of His Word. You will say in that day, I will give thanks to you, O Lord, for though you are angry with me, your anger turned away, that you might comfort me. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song and he has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation, and you will say in that day, Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the peoples, proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing praises to the Lord, for he has done gloriously. Let this be made known in all the earth. Shout and sing for joy, O inhabitant of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. All right. All right, next we're going to Isaiah 59, um, verses 15 through 21. Picking right up where we left off yesterday. <clears throat> Truth is lacking, and he who departs from evil makes himself a prey. The Lord saw it, and it displeased him, that there was no justice. He saw that there was no man, and wondered that there was no one to intercede. Then his own arm brought him salvation, and his righteousness upheld him. He put on righteousness as a breastplate, and a helmet of salvation on his head. He put on garments of vengeance for clothing, and wrapped himself in zeal as a cloak. According to their deeds, so he will, he will repay wrath to his adversaries, repayment to his enemies. To the coastlands he will render payment. So they shall fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. For he will come like a rushing stream with the wind which the wind of the Lord drives. And a redeemer will come to Zion, to those in Jacob who turn from transgressions, declares the Lord. And as for me, this is my covenant with them, says the Lord, my spirit that is upon you and my words that I have put in your mouth shall not depart out of your mouth or out of the mouth of your offspring. For out of the mouth of your children's offspring, says the Lord, from, from this time forth and forevermore. Good morning. Hi, Papa. Hi, I'm, I'm reading, okay? I'm reading to these people. <laughs> Okay, let's be quiet, okay? Okay, here we go. All right, the gospel text this morning. We're going to Luke chapter 17, verses 20 through 37. And here we go. Being asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, he answered them, The kingdom of God is not coming in ways that can be observed, nor will they say, Look, here it is, or there. For behold, the kingdom of God is in the midst of you. And he said to the disciples, the days are coming when you will see uh, when, uh, the days are coming when you will desire to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and you will not see it. And they will say to you, "Look there, or look here, do not go out or follow them. For as the lightning flashes and lights up the sky from one side to the other, so will the Son of Man be in, the, in his day. But first he must suffer many things and be rejected by this generation. Just as it was in the days of Noah, so will it be in the days of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking and marrying and being given in marriage until the day when Noah entered the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, just as it was in the days of Lot, they were eating and drinking, buying and selling, planting and building. But on the day when Lot went out, of, out from Sodom, Fire and sulfur rained from heaven and destroyed them all. So will it be on the day when the Son of Man is revealed. 
On that day, let the one who is on the housetop with his goods in the house not come down to take them away. And likewise, let the one who is in the field not turn back. Remember Lot's wife. Whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life will keep it. I tell you, in that night there will be two in one bed, one will be taken and the other left. There will be two women grinding together, one will be taken and the other left. And they said to him, Where, Lord? He said to them, Where the corpse is, there the vultures will gather. And this is the word of the Lord. All right, we'll go to the Pray Now app, and I'll read the prayer of the day. All right, let us pray. Eternal God, merciful Father, you have appointed your Son as judge of the living and the dead. Enable us to wait for the day of his return with our eyes fixed on the kingdom, prepared for your own from the foundation of the world. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right. Saw so we had a little visitor in here. That was my granddaughter, Kiera. So um, anyway, always a pleasure. She's over there listening. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So y'all have an awesome day. So be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And we'll see you tomorrow on Coffee in the Word. Say bye, baby. Okay. <laughs>